Hi, welcome back to my channel. I personally would really love to just start off with a big old an inhale and an exhale. I don't know about you, but this past week has just been an absolute cluster. So if you couldn't tell by the title, we are going on a journey today. It's going to be a tingly journey. It's going to hopefully be a thick, plump journey. This one goes out to all of my tiny lip gang, <laughs> tiny lippers. So today I'm going to be testing out different lip plumpers to see which, which one is the best, which one is going to give us the best bang for our buck, but most importantly, the plump that we're looking for. I personally really love lip plumpers because I was not blessed with beautiful pouty lips. I literally have no top lip. And if you think you're seeing a top lip right now, it's because of lip filler. The last time I got lip filler was September of last year. So it's been over a year and I am shocked that some of it is still here. That's a whole nother story, but basically long story short, I've been getting lip filler since like 2017. Basically, I was botched by two different ladies. And the second lady, I didn't know I was being botched. I thought she was doing a great job, but she just, there was just no technique to her fill. So she would just and call it a day. It would be like a five minute appointment anytime I went. And then I was just touched by an angel. I had to go to a different location that I wasn't usually used to going to, but the lady that did my lips for the last time, ah, uh, she changed the game. She took her time on me. She did a beautiful technique. Like I was never the same after. And she told me to try and wait as long as I possibly could before uh, getting any lip filler again. She was explaining that all of the filler I had got from the second lady, it seemed like it was getting smaller or going away, but it was actually just moving into places that shouldn't have been my lip. So like up here, my mustache basically. I'm in Maryland right now, COVID happened. So yeah, I just obviously haven't had a chance to go back to see her. I'm all for doing stuff that'll make you feel confident, but I also understand how expensive lip filler is, which is also another reason why I haven't even attempted for as long as I have, because baby girl's saving every buck she can. But I thought this could be a nice alternative. Maybe you don't feel like getting lip filler. Maybe you're scared of needles. Maybe you don't feel like paying for it. Maybe you just want a plump for the night. I had some already like just in my collection, but I also went to Ulta the other day. I picked up some drugstore ones. I picked up some more expensive ones. So as you can see, my face is done. I've done everything except for my lips. I was gonna put lip liner on because truly for me, lip liner changes everything. I think it really helps in changing the appearance of your lips, but I didn't want to have that get in the way of our results. So I'm just gonna exfoliate them really quick. I have the e.l.f. lip exfoliator in Sweet Cherry. Hope I plucked my mustache accordingly. Let's get a good close look at them because this is gonna be the before comparison to all of the lip glosses we have today. So in order to measure effectiveness, I guess, of all of these lip plumpers, I'm gonna be rating it on two different scales. One is gonna be the tingly effect. That can make or break it for some people. I personally don't mind it if it tingles. I kind of like it because that just in my head makes me think it's working. And then of course, we're gonna see if there's a plumping effect at all. I'm gonna rate it on a scale of one out of five. So first up, we have the LA Girl Lip Plumper tinted uh this was at ulta for 3.99 i want to say it was either 3.99 or 4.99 but it claims to moisturize and plump it smells like christmas black licorice Ooh. right off the bat very tingly some of it just got on my tongue so i'm not too happy about that I'm just gonna wait a few minutes to see if it continues. I think it's one of those where you put it on and it's supposed to emphasize your natural lip color. I can't really tell if it's doing that on me. It's not sticky, it's not pulling. The tingling has subsided and now it's just more of a cooling effect. So it's been a few minutes. Uh, the tingling is way gone. I think the color definitely changed a little bit. I sense 
more of my natural lip color coming out. I don't really see that big of a difference as far as plumpness goes. For the tingles, I'm gonna rate it a three. I feel like that's too high. Maybe a 2.5. For plumpness, I'm gonna go with a one. Like I see a tiny change, but I think most of that has to just do with the color. So overall, LA Girl Lip Plumper, I don't hate you, but if for whatever reason, I just wanted a little bit of glossy oomph and I didn't feel like paying a lot of money, then I would buy it. So next up, we have another drugstore lip plumper. This one is the Essence Lips Go Wow Plumping Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Cool Down. Okay, this smells good. It smells like spearmint. So there's zero tingling happening right now. Absolutely zero. There's more of a cooling menthol effect happening, except I don't feel anything. It's very, very, very tame. The shine is nice on it. I don't see any plumping and I definitely don't feel any tingling. So for tingle meter, we're gonna give her a zero out of five. But let's leave it on for a few minutes and see if anything changes. Okay, I am quite disappointed, Essence. As far as plumping, I really don't think it did a darn thing. I don't wanna give it a zero because I already gave it a zero for tingling, so I'll give it a one because I do like the shine of it, but would not purchase again. I've never tried these before, but we have e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. And this was $6. This is in the shade Pink Sugar. Pink Sugar, let's see how you do. <laughs> Smells sweet. Upon first swipe, there were no tingles, but now I feel it a little bit starting to tingle up. Now it just feels like a cooling sensation. So as far as the tingle factor, I'm gonna give it a one out of five. It's very slight, you can feel it a tiny bit. This formula is a little bit thicker than the last two, so it's not my favorite. I felt like the other two were nice and slippy. Just doesn't do it for me. I'm gonna give it a one out of five for the plumping as well. Sorry, Elf. Uh, overall, kind of disappointed. <laughs> I think if I had to pick a favorite though, surprisingly, I think think I would pick this one. I liked the consistency of it. Like I said, it was slippy, but it also was tingly, which I like. And I think it just brought out the color of my natural lips really well. These two are on my naughty list. I think my least favorite though would be the e.l.f. All right, let's wipe this off and then we'll get on over to our higher end lip plumpers. Okay, this first one I'm actually very excited to try. I had no idea this was even a thing. Kylie Cosmetics came out with lip plumpers, which I feel like you would have thought she'd already do. I actually love her high gloss formula a lot. I just haven't bought anything from Kylie Cosmetics in such a long time because Nothing has wowed me and I feel like there's so many more similar products on the market now that are way more affordable than hers. So I just haven't really geared towards the brand at all. But I was in Ulta and I saw this and I was like, okay, let's try it. Maybe it'll really do some things. The difference between these and her high glosses is that the plumping ones have little lips on the cap, which I thought was cute. I believe this was $16 and this is the shade not your bae. Okay, it smells like her signature scent for all of her lip products. Sweet cake vanilla. So when I was first putting it on, there was no sign of tingles at all. They're starting to come in a little bit now. I could be wrong because it's been a while, but I feel like this formula is a little bit more thicker than her high gloss formula. Okay, so it's been like five minutes and I will say the tingling hasn't stopped. Like it's been a constant little buzz. I'll say for the tingles, it's a three. For the plumpness, I don't know. I feel like I'm really not gonna be able to see a difference as far as plumpness goes until I'm actually editing this. But I think this might've done a little something. I did have higher expectations, I'm not gonna lie. It's fine, uh, but if I'm paying $16, I don't want fine. But it does still feel tingly even as I'm talking. So I think that's nice. 
maybe for the plumpness i'll give it a 2.5 again my lack of top lip makes it really hard to impress me so if something is actually making me look like i have a top lip i'm blown away this is kind of doing something for me maybe i'm being too harsh on these so the next one i've used many many times big fan and i originally saw this on tiktok but it's the lipstick queen lip surge plumper and this is in the shade smoke Oh, this one hurts. Tingly meter for sure is out of four. When they say lip surge, they're not lying. Also forgot to mention that it smells like licorice. Oh my gosh, this burns. This is not for the faint of heart, let me tell you. I feel and see a difference. So I'm gonna dare to say four out of five. It'll do the job you need it to do. All right, we've made it to the last one and it looks like that's a good thing because our sunlight is leaving very fast. So we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. This bad boy was $30, but I had to do it for the investigation of it all. One thing to say, a comment before even opening it, I'm just not a fan of this like iridescent unicorn vibes color scheme they have going on. I could definitely do without. I wish they had just like a clear one. That would be right up my alley. Let's give her a try. Oh. Okay, so luckily the color doesn't really look like the tube. Upon first application, there's no tingliness at all. It's very quiet over here. I still don't feel anything. There's like a tiny little bit of warmth, but that's it. Ooh, I really wanted to try out a Buxom lip plumper. I've never tried theirs, but my Ulta didn't carry them. For some reason, I thought that they were carried at Ulta, but I, I don't know. This one, I'm just still waiting on something to happen. It's been minutes upon minutes and not much is happening here. I feel bamboozled. Zero tingles. I mean, in the beginning, there was a little bit of like warmth. So for that, I'll go ahead and give you a one out of five. As far as plumpness goes, there's definitely something there. It says extra strength, instant, and long-term lip plumper. For plump, I'll give her a three because my bottom lip, I feel is like nice and plump, but you know, the top lip, she's lacking. It's not the plumper's fault, but if you're gonna make that kind of claim, I'm gonna expect a little bit something more. But overall, 100% undoubtedly lipstick queen. <laughs> she just does the job exactly as she needs to do. I love this so much. So that is the end of our lip plumper journey. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope you had a good time. I had so much fun filming this. What was your favorite plumper? What did you think looked best, looked worst? Do you think I got it right? Let me know. And thank you for being here. Love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.